Hey, here's a quick tip on how to get rusty screws with a Phillips head out without stripping it all apart. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. So I've got an old motorcycle here and I want to get this chrome cover off of what uh, Honda calls a power chamber. Doesn't really matter, uh, but what I've got is a very rusted part with a partially rusted uh, screw in it. And when I put a regular screwdriver on this, I, I really struggle. And to be honest, I haven't put a regular screwdriver on it. Why? Because the first thing you want to do is match up your screwdriver tip with your screw. And these are not regular Phillips screw heads. They are JIS. And, uh, but even if you have the correct JIS, there's still something you need to get them out without destroying them and having a hard time, A, either getting it out, or B, you beat it up so badly and destroy it that it can't go back in when you put the motorcycle back together. So out of all these screwdrivers, which one do I grab? There's one that's right for the job. Yep. This is the one that we need. This quick tip is really a tool recommendation. You see here on the bit, there's right and left, and you can turn this by pressing in there and change the orientation, but you want it, I mean, Essentially, you can loosen bolts with this or you can tighten them in really, really tightly. I've never used it to tighten a bolt in. It's always about removing the bolt. But you want to set it so that when it's pressing together, it's turning in a loosening direction. You can just feel that. Then, when I put the screwdriver onto my rusty screw, I want to make sure that I am seated very well and firmly into that. It's in so well it actually holds the thing up. And then to use one of these, you definitely want gloves on. You definitely want eye protection on. And you must use a ball peen hammer. Don't use a framer's hammer like this. Uh, the metal in this is different from the metal in this. This is softer. Uh, this is so hard that you're going to bash off pieces of metal that might go flying up uh, into your eye or, you know, I've cut myself on shards around this thing. Even with the ball peen, I still end up beating up the end of this and, and there are some sharp, sharp edges here. So just be careful. That's why the gloves and use the right hammer. If you like motorcycles, custom builds, or just like a good story about a man's three-year effort to build a tribute to his childhood teacher, get a copy of Creating Mr. Corton. In it, you'll learn how this man changed this man for the better. How this man took this and built this. How these guys became lifelong friends and enthusiasts of motorcycling and craftsmanship and how the name Urban Monk originated. It's available from Amazon anywhere in the world that Amazon ships in both paperback and ebook, or you can purchase through a link found on urbanmonktv.com. Get your copy of Creating Mr. Corton today. And then holding it firmly, and I kind of, I push with my hand and preload it a little bit and just hit it right there. And eventually you get it loose enough 
only takes a few hits. Or you can get it out. This thing is very rusty. But it makes such quick work of a screw like this. And notice how the head of my screw You know, I think there might be a retaining clip on the back side of this piece, but the point is that when I do get that out and take this piece off, I have another rusty bolt to go or screw, is I will be able to reuse that again because I have preserved the shape of the head and I have not destroyed it. And I got it loose and it's not stuck in there all stripped out. And one more thing I'll say, most of these you can remove this uh, driver bit and you got a 3 8 inch ratchet there so you can get hex head, you know, six point uh, bolts off. So pretty adaptable. You don't necessarily need to own an impact wrench if you have one of these or even a long breaker bar might be unnecessary in some cases because you could use this. So that's it. Quick tip. Go buy a cheap impact driver. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I've got a lot of videos coming up on the restoration of this Honda CX500. I have videos of building a cafe racer out of a GS500 and I have maintenance videos and ride-along videos on my V-Strom and my Cafe Racer. And check out my super awesome, super duper book, Creating Mr. Corton. It's a tribute to my old shop teacher. It is a memoir of the build of a Cafe Racer and a memoir of growing up in Fargo and buying one of these exact motorcycles as a teenager. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.